So this is my mega Hermes Hawaii haul. I scored three Hermes bags. Welcome back to the long-awaited Hawaii haul. Yes, I'm surrounded by a sea of orange and I'm not going to ask you to wait and I'm going to show you the very first item. Okay, tradition. What's in this box, guys? <laughs> so this, my amazing essay, Joyo. Hi, Joyo, if you're watching. Saved this for me because he knows I'm obsessed. And in here is... No surprise, but another Hermes Pegas Rodeo. So this color I don't have. It's so pretty. The body color is in Mauve Sylvester and the wings are in Chai, I believe. And I think this is Cray. So this cutie cost 630 USD. Now I also got asked, is Hermes cheaper in Hawaii? No, it's the same price as USA Manland. It's just that their tax is a lot cheaper. It's like 4 point something percent compared to, you know, seven to 10% in USA Manland. So nothing much more to say about this cutie, but I love it and it ties in with my next bag reveal. Okay, so next up is something in this little box. So before I went to Hawaii, I I actually did give Joe Yo quite a big wish list. There's a mixture of items from bags to clothes to accessories, but I have been wanting this. And let me show you what bag it is. And it is. Dun dun dun. Yes, another gorgeous mini Evelyn. And this is in the color Mauve Sylvester. So it is such a pretty pink, but it's got a purple undertone to it. Of course, it does come with the shoulder strap as well. I haven't worn it yet. That's why it's got all the plastic on there. So this costs 1,900 USD. And it is just such a great casual bag. I mean, you can use the original canvas strap and crossbody it. Sometimes I like to use just a chain if I want to dress it up. You can put any chain you want because they've already got D-rings on here. Looks great with all sorts of pinks as you can see me trying on with my pink outfit, which by the way, I will link below. So the mini Evelyn, I already own one in baton and I love it. So I knew I wanted another one, but this time in this color. So now I have got my little Pegas on there. That is just the perfect match. I forgot to mention that this is in Clemence leather as well. So very durable leather. Isn't this color just divine? And of course, you know, I always protect the insides of my bags because inside the bag is actually unlined. So you guys know I've hopped on about 7RP for five plus years. This video is not sponsored by 7RP, but I only use 7RP for my Hermes bags. So this is one that I had in my other mini Evelyn, but it matches perfectly in this bag as well. And it's a perfect fit. So I will leave my highest discount code if you guys were interested in any of the inserts down below. Plus it also gives the bag a little bit of structure, which I love. So that is the first couple of purchases. So next up, I have a few pairs of shoes to show you. I am so excited to tell you about these shoes because they are a game changer. You know I love introducing new brands to you. These are the shoes. They came in these boxes here, 100% recycled. So you guys know I've done a couple of videos in the past about, you know, the most comfortable shoes. And this, I, I can't tell you how impressed I am about these shoes. So the brand is actually called Vivea and I love their whole mission statement. They basically want to create shoes that are stylish, comfortable, but yet sustainable and eco-friendly. And actually a few of you had reached out to me and said, Mel, I've kind of seen these on YouTube, but I would love your review. So when they reached out to me a few months ago and actually got these shoes whilst I was in Hawaii, you know that my past, I used to be a footwear buyer. And not only that, I used to be in comfort footwear and also fashion footwear. So the first pair of shoes I want to show you are these gorgeous pointed, 
kitten heels. These are called the Stella. Now, the most unique thing about Vivea is that each shoe is actually made from recycled materials. Actually, each pair of shoes are made from six recycled plastic bottles. That is amazing. I'm so impressed by the upper. And this is a special knit fabric. They use this special 3D technology to weave this together. And one, it is breathable. Two, it actually is really flexible and molds to your foot. So whether you have wide feet or narrow feet, it's suitable for all sort of foot shapes, which is amazing because usually in a comfort shoe, they tend to look a little bit daggy, a little bit grandma, but these are so stylish. I know I'm being a bit technical, but this part is called the toe box. Even in all their shoes, their toe box is wider so with people that have like maybe slight bunions it's perfect for you because yeah it molds to your foot i wish all luxury shoes have this and i think this should be a feature that should be incorporated they put this special padding right at the back of this part's called the heel counter and it prevents your heel slipping out plus it prevents blisters and that's what makes them so comfortable and then the insole here it's got some arch support which is great but the thing that sets them apart is that they've got this special herb inside, which is great for deodorizing. It keeps your feet smelling fresh. All the materials they use here are actually biodegradable. And even the padding or the foam that they've used, they've taken inspiration from sneakers. So it's a foam that they've used in sneakers. That's why you can wear it all day. And you know what? I even tried this. You can run in these. And then moving into the back, the outsole, anti-slip, carbon-free rubber that they've used. They've just packed a punch into these shoes and they're just so stylish. Does this remind you of something? I brought them out. This gives me the Jardio vibes in terms of the upper. I picked the one that has some perforations, but it does come in solid black and so many colors, but it is so comparable to this Jardio slingback. But instead of paying a thousand plus dollars, this is like 139 USD. So, so affordable. So, of course, I asked and I have the highest code again for you guys. So, if you're interested, put MIM18 and you can get 18% off your order. My code is only valid strictly for three days. They, do, they haven't given anyone else this code. So, Thank you to Vivea for partnering with me on this video and sending me these shoes to review. So just quickly, the other shoes I picked, they all have the same features which I just mentioned and I love in the Stella shoe. This is their latest shoe. It's adapted from their best-selling flats. If you love flats, go for the Aria flat. For me, I always like a little bit of height. So I picked the Aria wedge, which is new to their range. Love the stacked heel, love the pointed toe. And I picked this nude color because nude definitely elongates the legs. And then the third pair, I really wanted to test this out, was these pair of boots. Love the architectural heel, love the sock booty. You know, this gives me the Hermes Volva knit boot vibe. And you know, with this sock-like feature, it sort of suits all ankle shapes. And this one here with the square toe is very modern. This one is actually water repellent. Perfect for summer, perfect for fall. And as you can see me doing here, I'm just amazed that you can wear this out in the rain and you don't have to worry at all. And I specifically picked the brown because I don't own a pair of brown boots. It looks great with my pink outfit. So don't be afraid to go for brown, but you know what? I would definitely get the black as well because these will be perfect for traveling. I can already tell I can walk all day in these. And the last pair of shoes that I picked were these classic pumps. If you're thinking they give you Chanel vibes, absolutely, that's what I thought as well. But you know what? I haven't bought the Chanel versions in the ballet flat because I actually don't find them that comfortable, but these are very, very comfortable. Love the black toe cap here. This is called the Jewelry. And you know, I saw this little feature, it's so cute. You can actually buy, I think this is like less than $10, these removable bows. You know me, I love a two-in-one. You can actually clip the bow to the shoe and it looks completely like a different shoe. And you only need to buy one pair because even on my Stellas, you can put these on there and how gorgeous do they look? It gives me Ferragamo vibes. So these ones here, why not? I'm, I would pair with denim. I would pair with my Chanel jacket. It just, 
is such a classy outfit that will never ever go out of style. So I'll put all the links down below. I don't make any commission from this code guys. All the links are not affiliate links. I am totally going to be adding more because even from a technical point of view as a footwear buyer and even as a consumer, I am so impressed. Okay, up next, let's do what's in here. And this is something I don't own, but when this came in, I'm like, yes, definitely want this one. And it is this cute piece. So this is the Calvi, but it's the updated version because this is the Calvi Duo because it's got this flap, which is great for coins. So you can put cards in here and coins in here. And it is in Epsom leather, gold, and this, Inside color, I love that this is in the new Hermes green, which is the Fizz. It's just this pale minty green. How cute is that? So you know me, I love the Bastia, but for those of you that definitely want to put cards in, then I would say go for the Calvi. Now the Calvi Duo is a little bit more expensive than the regular Calvi. This will set you back 495 USD. Okay, next let's do this little guy. And you're thinking, only one Twilly Mel. <laughs> is that a hint? Maybe, maybe not. But this is a gorgeous Twilly design. I will put the name down in the description box below. But I just love the neutral colorway. I own a lot of neutral bags. So I just loved this design. It's a little bit whimsical with the guy in the top hat holding an umbrella cloud, but it's just such a pretty one. I actually regret not buying two because when I bought this and I wanted to buy the second pair the next day, it already sold out. So Twilies in USD is 195. Now, let me show you what's in my smallest package. It is super, super cute. They didn't have this in the Melbourne store. So when I saw it there, I thought it was great and it, actually ties in with the next thing I'm gonna show you. But in here is actually a little Kelly, uh, I think it's called the Kelly Curiosit Charm. And you could wear it as a necklace if you wanted, but I plan to use it as a little charm because I love accessorizing my bags. I just love the colors on there. This one, they've got plain versions as well, but I just liked this version that had a few more colors in there. This one was a bit expensive for such a small piece, but I just really, really liked it. This was 495 USD. Now let's move on to the second bag I got. Now this may surprise you, probably will actually, and it is in this box here. Let me just open it up, stop blubbering Mel, and show you what it is, and I will explain. So in this box here, oh, I wanted to show you, it came with this packaging. Hermes is actually gonna be changing to this sort of packaging. I believe all the shrink wrap, you know how you usually see bags all shrink wrap, they're phasing that out and then just having this across the box. So I thought I just wanted to show you that, hence why I saved that. And then in here, Let me present to you. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> and you're thinking, what is that, Mel? It is actually part of the Kelly family. So, this, guys, is the Kelly Adu backpack. As you can see, it's got the canvas strap at the back. And if you're thinking, Mel, you're not even into backpacks. Okay, so get this. This is actually Hubby's second bag. This is actually quite a sought after item for both girls and guys. And it came in, this is in the beautiful Togo leather in Blue Nui, which is this gorgeous dark blue with palladium hardware. So when Jojo asked, you know, is hubby interested in anything? Hubby has been getting into bags. You saw him carry the Foray Lepage back, which he loved. And when he tried this on, he was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Let me just take all this off, the dust cover off for you. Okay, so inside as well, uh, it's gonna be hard to see, but it is, it's got plenty of room inside. It's got a 
pocket and it actually does fit hubby's 13 inch macbook air which he was pretty impressed by i believe it also does come in a mini size but hubby wants to use this for travel shout out to mitch hi mitch if you're watching hubby got another bag <laughs> hubby's always carrying his backpacks whenever we go traveling he loves backpacks so this was totally up his alley i mean i'm so happy he got his first hermes bag this turn lock feature is a little bit different it, usually they had that on previous hacks. I don't know if they've got it in the current hacks at the moment, but yeah, it's just slightly different, but still looks like the Kelly. It's still got all the elements of the Kelly, I should say. And then what I also love about this one is the oversized clochette and lock. As you can see, it is much bigger than your normal sized one. So I think that would just look really good on i don't know actually where i would hang it but it's cute nonetheless i just noticed things like that so guys probably didn't guess this one i was surprised this had come in i've heard of the kelly adu before but this is the perfect bag for hubby and this bag cost let me just grab the receipt 9550 USD before tax. So what I was saying before is if I want to ever borrow it, I would just sort of feminize it a bit. I would love to put this little, the Kelly little charm there. I think that's so cute. It goes perfectly. So I would wear that with this backpack. But yeah, hubby loves it, makes me happy. So this is the second bag that I scored from Hermes. Okay, next let's let's do this. So in here is gonna be no surprise as well because you guys know I love my Hermes scarves. And this is something that I picked, which is also very whimsical. Fun little fact, did you know it takes two, approximately two years from the very beginning to the end to design an Hermes scarf. It is actually a fascinating process. So it's actually pretty worth the price point. And this is the scarf that I got. So it's got this lady riding a horse and you can see all the different animals surrounding it. So different. And I just really, I actually don't have that many Hermes scarves that are in a black colorway. But I love this one because when you do wear it, you can see that there's so many different colors in it, but it looks gorgeous on. I actually saw one of the sales associates wear the scarf and I had never considered this before, but I just really liked the pattern. I liked that it was a little bit different to all my other scarves. So an Hermes silk 90 centimeter scarf cost 480 USD. So pretty worth it. So if you don't particularly like Hermes bags, then I do recommend their scarves. They do such a beautiful job of creating the designs, not to mention when they screen print everything, it just takes ages. Like each color is done. I remember uh, visiting when Hermes came down like a few years ago they did like this exhibition and just seeing the whole screen printing process I thought it was just fascinating and yeah it made me appreciate and love their scarves even more okay next let's move to this now this is a super duper cute item I wasn't sure if I was going to add this but if I was I only wanted it in this color and Joe Yo had said, I know you love Rodeos, so were you wanting this little cutie? And let me show you. It is actually the super cute Buddy Charm. And this one here, it's like a new addition. Their charms do really well. I know some people don't love charms, but I do. I don't think I'll add multiple of this, but because this is such a neutral colorway, it is going to go with heaps of my Hermes bags. And it's got, you know, a little bit of the sheepskin here and then the swift leather here, which is like a smooth leather but it's so cute. Now that we've got Chino, I love him so much. We used to have a dog, but so I thought this was so adorable. And this costs 560 USD. I forgot to say that the main body here is in sesame. So that's my little doggy. 
Okay, let's change things up a bit and show you the little piece that I bought from LV. If you're thinking, did you only buy Hermes in Hawaii? Pretty much, but I thought I would include this piece. Even though I visited other stores, I actually do have a story time for Ferragamo, uh, which I will do in a separate video, but let me just show you this. I also wasn't planning to get this, but it came in and the sales associate who was lovely showed me. I was actually after a mini cup of scenes. If you haven't seen my whole Hawaii series, I will link the playlist up there, but I did lots of shopping, but really I wanted things from Hermes, but this was too cute to pass up and it is, dun, dun, dun. yes, it is the tiny micro bag charm in the speedy style. So it is in denim. I love denim, as you know. I love the mini speedy. I have a nano, I have a vintage version, I have the speedy 25. I mean, the speedy is classic. You can't go wrong with the speedy. I am a big fan of the speedy. So I thought this would be cute to sort of hang off. I did wish they had the monogram one, but I really like the denim one as well. But again, these little charms are not cheap at all, to be honest. But, you know, I'm a sucker for little cute things. You can hold your AirPods in there or just folded up notes and coins. So let me grab the receipt and tell you the price of this. This cost 740 USD. And again, Louis Vuitton in Hawaii is about five to 10% cheaper than USA mainland, but it varies depending on products. I don't believe shoes is that much, but some of the bags you can save, yeah, 10%. So little tip for you, it is cheaper. So that is my little bag charm, and I think it is just super adorable. Okay, coming up to the last two items, I told you guys this was a pretty big haul is another one of these boxes. And yes, it is another Rodeo Pegas, but this time in Cray. This actually I was wanting and I missed out from my local store. My local store has been amazing in getting me a lot of Rodeos and the Rodeo Pegas but I really liked this one here. So this is in Cray. I believe this is lime and this is chai. I, I think I actually prefer the Pegas and the normal Rodeos, but I have a lot as you know. So it just depends what colorways. I won't be collecting all of them. You can't anyway, it's like so hard to get, but I'm just really glad I could add this little cutie as well. So yes, the Pegas price, as I mentioned before, is 630 USD. All right, lucky last is my third bag in here. And to be honest, guys, Hawaii Waikiki did not have as much stock this time. Usually when I go, there's always some, you know, special bags in the display cabinets. And I showed you on my vlog, there was very minimal stock. Yes, I managed to get a couple of Rodeos and, you know, that backpack is not everyone's cup of tea and they do get deliveries frequently. So I think with Hermes Hawaii, even though it's a tourist destination, they definitely get more stock, but it's all about luck and timing as well. And if I left a day earlier, I would not have got this. So first thing first, let's play our game. What do you think this is? Do you think it is a Birkin or do you think it's a Kelly and what size? So pause the video and comment below what you think it is and color if you want, because you guys always seem to guess color from what I'm wearing, but maybe I've tricked you this time. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so as you can see, it is a very big box. And I have mentioned this before on my wish list, but to be honest, this was really low down on my wish list, but nonetheless, I still wanted to get it. And actually everything that I really wanted, even though Jojo is fantastic, that's what I said, guys, sometimes timing, there was nothing he could get me from that. Though I'm very grateful he got the mini Evelyn. But in here, I got, yes, it is a bigger bag to reveal, dun, 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 two handles, a classic Birkin 
35 Togo leather with palladium hardware. Now, I have been saying for a while that big bags are back and I am not opposed to bigger bags at all. Actually, I did say on my wish list that I would also want a Birkin 35. I think I even said that last year as well, but I would probably only add one and I only would add it in a couple of colors, either black or a taupe or a gray. So when this came in, I was like, yes, I will take it because I kind of miss the black Birkin I sold many years ago, but that was in Epsom, but this is in Togo. So this particular Togo, I'm not sure if you can see, but it does have some veining throughout. And one characteristic of Togo leather is that you will see some of the veining. It is not a fault, but it's just personal preference. I feel like you probably can see the veining more so on darker colors than lighter colors, but it really is personal preference. For me, I don't mind. I don't mind some veining, slight veining. I probably wouldn't want anything that the veining is like really, really obvious. So this, I think it was really hubby that got us luck this time because I had forgotten I mentioned to him about Birkin 35. And when hubby got his Kelly backpack, he was like, I, Joyo, I want a Birkin 35. And I think that's what kind of planted it in his head. Plus, you know, it was hubby's actual birthday whilst we were there. So when Joyo surprised us with this, it was more like, I have something for hubby. And I'm like, what? He gets two bags. So this is like, I guess a shared bag because hubby would absolutely wear this as well. It is, well, it's in black, it goes with everything, but I actually really like it with palladium hardware instead of the gold that I had before. It just makes it more casual. I just think it looks younger. I love that this Birkin, even though it's sort of bigger, to me, it I don't think it overwhelms my frame. I think it's okay. Like for reference, I am 164 centimeters tall, so you can see me wearing it here. Look, some people, I know everyone still loves the Birkin 25, and even the Birkin 30, which to me is the perfect size for any height, but I love me a bigger bag. And so I was really, really happy to add this. And this bag cost 12,400 USD before tax. So again, Hermes bags are super expensive guys, but they definitely retain their value, if not more, but as you know, I'm a bit of a collector, so I hold on to all my bags. And this is my one and only Birkin 35 in Retourne. So Retourne means more relaxed look. You can see the piping on the edges. And I do actually own a Birkin 35 limited edition in Cellier. And the Cellier definitely wears a lot bigger and looks bigger than the Retourne. So even though this bag, once you fill it up, not gonna lie, it does get a little bit heavy, but for me, it is a classic size. It's actually very pop. It's still one of the most popular sizes in Europe. And I just think it's still super classy, but casual at the same time. And of course it does come with, oh, it's already out, the clochette and the lock, which I don't tend to really use because the lock is quite heavy. So I don't want it marking the bag, but occasionally I do wear it. And I definitely, definitely need to get myself an insert for this because especially for Togo or Clemence leather, the heavier leathers, it will sort of sag over time. So I want to support the structure of this. So again, I need to get myself a 7RP one. I haven't got it yet since this is brand spanking new, but highly recommend that. For those of you watching me, you know I always recommend using an insert, especially for these very expensive bags. So that is it guys. That is my massive Hermes Hawaii haul and one LV item, but I am beyond happy with everything I got. It's sort of like a mixture of everything, the three bags, all the different accessories, and I'm loving, loving the shoes from Vivea as well. So don't forget, if you were interested in any of the shoes that I featured, use MIM18 to get 18% off your total order. I just think instead of spending a thousand plus, save yourself 
eight, nine, a thousand dollars and try these shoes out. They are just so good, so comfortable. I also recommend you checking out their Instagram because they have different ways how they style it and it's shoes created for us, that better for us, but it's better for planet Earth as well. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Get ready for my November to remember with multiple giveaways. So I'm really excited about that. And I will catch you really soon in my next video. Bye guys.